Hello and Namaste. This is me, Razan from IdeaTX Studio. So, today we are going to see how to deploy a Zango application into AWS EC2 instance. So, let's get started. So, first of all, we will create a Zango application in our local uh, laptop or local uh, computers. So uh, let's create a folder AWS underscore example and I have already created the folder. Now let's create a Zango application inside this folder and we can do like this Zango admin start project my app. So let's give it this name my app and it will create a project my app. So let's go into it and see uh, there is manage.py and my app folder let's open the app that we have just created uh, it is my app then let's open it so this is our basic Django application we have just created a blank or a starting Django application and uh, uh, let's run it here is manage.py so let's run it so it is running so let's click so our basic Django application is ready and this application is in our local computer or in our laptop so how can we deploy this uh, Django application into AWS EC2 instance so let's go into AWS management console and uh, let's log in I have already log logged in into my account so you can also log in into your account and then you will see this screen in aws management console where there is ec2 we can click on it we will be creating uh, an ec2 instance so uh, this screen will open up and you can see the running instances let's click on it and what we have to do before deploying the Django application that we have in our local computer is we need to create a server or we need to create an instance. We need to create the server then we will deploy our application into that server. So let's launch an instance. So this screen will open up and it will show you different uh, set up for the EC2 instance. There are free, free tier eligible or there are commercial um, setups also. So I will be selecting this first one Amazon Linux free tier eligible. So this is a free tier 64 bit. And uh, uh, so let's select this. And uh, we can select on the basis of number of CPUs. What kind of setup do we like? We can select that. Uh, if you want uh, more number of CPUs, more memory, you can select any of this. But I will select this free tier eligible one, which have only one CPU and one GB of memory. So let's click next. So here you can configure different settings like number of instances, network sub sub network settings, and there are also other settings like monitoring uh, if you click on this additional charge or apply so we will just leave it as default and we will just click next so here is the storage it is by default 8 gb i will leave it as 8 gb as it is so let's let's click next then we can add tax. The tax is used to identify the EC2 instance. So let's add a tag and we need to give a key and a value. Let's give it. Uh, I will give the key as name and value as idea text Python. Uh, so let's give it another name idea text Django app server. 
so it is done and then let's click next we can configure security groups where we can allow different ports for example we need sss we need secure cell to communicate from the terminal and um, then we need to add another rule which is http we need to add http for accessing through our url and then we need to add another uh, maybe we need to add custom tcp rule and it is a thousand so um, our app by default runs in a thousand ports so we need to allow this port to be accessible from outside environment so we have added the security groups we have allowed sss access http access and custom tcp access on port 8000 so let's click review and launch so this is our final screen and final step where we can review the instance uh, and the configurations that we have just made in previous steps so we can review it and then we can simply launch it and then it will ask us for uh, the key pair we can select an existing key pair or we can simply create a new key pair so uh, uh, i hope you know about keys keys are used to access the server and anyone who has this key can access it so we need to keep the key very secure and protected if we give that key file to any other person then they can access our server so we need to keep the key file very secure and protected so we will be creating a new key pair and we can give it a name let's call it iretex zango and then we can click download key pair so it will be downloaded and it is a pm file so let's simply launch the instance it will be initiating the instance launch and we can simply uh, go to services and ec2 and we will see our instance is getting started it is initiating so we can click on it and then we can see it is just initiating you know it is instance status pending so after some time it will be started and then we can access it so our instance state is in running state and we can click on it and we will see this window below where we can see the uh, ipv4 public ip or ipv4 public dns and we can use it to access this server from terminal so we can simply copy it and then we can go to terminal and open a new uh, window where we can simply access to ec2 user at this ip address and you can see the permission is denied this is because we need to give the key file to it and the way of giving the key file is the key file is in download section so this is our key file that we downloaded from aws and we can simply give it and it is again saying that there is bad permissions what we need to do is we need to give correct permission to the file so the way of doing is sudo csmod i think it is 4002 downloads underscore now i think it will work so it is working we have successfully accessed the aws instance ec2 instance so now what we need to do is we need to transfer the django app that was running on our local computer to this ec2 instance so let's do it now i will stop the server that was running in our my local computer now what i am going to do is i need to transfer this file this uh, django application into the ac2 instance so let me copy it mm, let's copy the whole 
folder this my app Django app and I will do my app uh, sorry mm. to this EC2 instance it will copy my app Django app into the EC2 instance and we need to give uh, the key file to it downloads idea text underscore Django dot pim and it is transferring the Django application that was present on our local computer to the EC2 instance and it is successfully transferred so let's see it here it is my app that we just transferred from local computer to EC2 instance so you can go into this my app and we can see different files so we need to install some things before we can start the Django project here so let's hit a command python it is python 2.7.16 and let's check whether python 3 is installed or not python 3 python 3 is not installed in this uh, computer so what we can do is we need to install the python 3 in this machine and now what we can do is uh we need we can install some of the requirements before running this django application and we can install python 3p3 sqlite and django so let's install them sudo em install sqlite python 3 python 3 so let's go it is installing and all of them are installed so uh, let's check whether python 3 is installed or not python 3 is installed so let's install Django p3 install Django 2.0 I will install Django 2.0 so we need to give two equals to and it will be installing Django and there is permission denied error we need to give pseudo permission and it is installing Django on the EC2 instance and the installation is successful so let's clear the screen and let's do ls and I think now we can run our Zango application in the AWS EC2 instance. So let's do, sorry, python3 manage.py run server. So our application has started, but I think we need to do some changes. What we need to do is um, we need to. uh make some changes we need to make some changes in the settings third by so uh let's do it it is present in my app settings third by and what we need to do is we need to give something to this allowed host it is a list of the hosts that are allowed so we need to give it We need to allow some hosts to run. We can simply insert in the form of a string. And what we need to do is we need to give the IP address of the EC2 instance to this allowed host. So this is done and let's save it. And now let's start it. But the way of starting it is user pin python 3 and then manage.py and then run server and then what we need to give it this and then i think we can access it from um, our browser and 
we have successfully accessed the Django application that is running on AWS EC2 instance. So this is it for now. And if you have any review, feedback or any comment, please hit the comment on this YouTube channel or you can also message us directly. Uh, the link to our Facebook channel and uh, Facebook account is on the description. And you can also comment the content for our next videos. So uh, that's it for today. Goodbye and take care. <laughs>